Rob, let us go to Budenholzer. The Bucks. We're gonna stay with that that series. And Adrian Wojnarowski, ESPN, uh, wrote did a report today saying if the Bucks go out with a whimper, all right, like if it, if it ends ugly, five six game maybe six man. I think if they lose. Uh, what was the phrase well, he used, Rob G? They, Rob G, lose, what was the phrase out? he used? He said, go out with a thud. So that obviously leaves a lot of wiggle room. I would say five games, Rob, right? Now, maybe if it's five games and they're close, the last two losses are close. But I, I think, Rob, honestly, I think if they lose this series, unless somehow they push this thing to seven, you know what my, I mean? And my you only just thing lose is losing the thing Brooklyn that can go anyway. you your job. Like, but it's not just this year. And, that's, and I know you know that. It's the last two years, you know, before this one. So Boone noted this is his third year, Rob. First year they get to the conference finals. Great, because they went from the first round, 44 wins, to 60 wins in his first season. But and they get forget, to the conference they, finals. They were up, right? They were up 2-0. They were up 2-0, that's the and thing. And lost four in a row. To Toronto and lost four straight, right? Then the next year, they, they've got the best record in the East. And they lose to the Miami Heat in the second round. Right. And then this year, like you said, Brooklyn, I don't know who, I get, was Brooklyn favored, Rob G? I mean, they're the second seed. My, yeah, Milwaukee's the third this, yeah, seed. I mean, but there but, was I mean, a feel, the but maybe, maybe, maybe there was a feel. Some people did pick Milwaukee. It was, no, you know, I, it was close. There were people, that's what I'm saying, who thought, even with Brooklyn, they still thought Milwaukee was better. I don't think a lot of Even people with Harden, feel that way. Right. right. Chuck, but Chuck, you, Charles Barkley and Kenny Smith picked them before Harden got hurt. Pick Milwaukee. Right. A lot of NBA people thought that. Nick Wright, our colleague at, at Fox Sports, he picked them. Nick's been As, off, huh, a little bit in the playoffs? Yeah, he's had a rough – he's had a rough – He's had a rough it's patch. Been rough for him, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, but, he has lived up to the nickname Nick Wrong in the playoffs so far. <laughs> the point is this, Rob. It, you know this. It's all about expectations. And that's what's going to damn Mike Budenholzer or doom Mike Budenholzer is that the expectations are, all right, it's time for you to go deep. And – he, he, you know, he's always being criticized for not making adjustments. And uh, he's getting beaten by lower seeds. This time it wouldn't be, but still. And so that, I do think he's gone. I mean, unless, like I said, they, they make this thing a knuckle, you know, a, a nail biter, a knockdown drag out series. And they just happen to lose in seven, in a tough seven. But otherwise, I, I think he will be gone. Um, well, but I was I talking to somebody. It, I can see it coming off of the, you know, you're down 49. You remember the game they right, lost by 39? Right. I right. mean, like that was a bad, that was a bad look right there that they should never. And Charles, I saw Charles talking about that. And I think he's right. You know, in a playoff game, you're down 49. I mean, that like, that's pretty bad. Especially when you're one of the top teams in the league. Because that, that says you just didn't show up. I, no matter how good Brooklyn is, they're not 49 points better than you. Right. And so that shows and, that and, you And they don't have Harden. Just think about right, that, though. Right, right. Because right. honestly, Rob, even though we, we both still got them without Harden, without Harden, they're not this otherworldly super team on paper. No, they're you know a good I mean? team. They're really right. Good. They're they're like a, a team. I mean, we've seen many teams like this. I mean, heck, la- the Lakers last year, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. It's similar, you know. I mean, we've we've seen tons of teams with two good players, two superstar Hall of Fame bound players. So that's not that unusual. No, no, no. Right. It's right. when you throw in Harden that it's like okay, you you can't touch him. So, yeah, I, I think Bud's in trouble if they and, – and here's another thing about him, Rob. He's stuck on this minutes thing. It must be, you know, he came obviously up under Popovich. And, I mean, he plays Giannis even in the playoffs, 32, 33 minutes a game. 
you know, 34 minutes a game. And I'm sorry, you know, when it's go time in the playoffs, you got to let your you got to let your big boys go. Right. And, you know, and so that's another thing that people uh, will hold against Bud if indeed he is fired. But, hey, Rob, some people might think, look, they're looking at Giannis and they're seeing the warts in his game, right? Can't shoot. Uh, can't. I mean, he airballed a free throw last night. You yeah, know, that, free that's, throws that's, look that's awful, the truth, man. Yeah. And, he, and twice in the playoffs, he's been called for 10 second violations on the free throw line. So it's pretty bad right now for our man Giannis. Um, but some people are looking at that, Rob, and saying, you know, he's as great as he is. You wouldn't be a contender without him. But he's a big part of the problem. So why, why is Bud going to be the scapegoat? You know, it may be, I mean, Giannis. Yeah, you're not, you can't get rid of Giannis or players. So, yeah, it's always going to be the coach. Cause, cause you can't do anything. You know what I mean? Like, like you, somebody, you got to give the fans somebody's blood. Right. So it ain't going to be the player. It's going to be the coach. It's easier to just, you know, move move on from the coach, and use him as the reason why we can't get to where we want. When in reality, it's a combination. It's a, it's definitely right. a combination. 